Hey, I'm here at the ID Tech X show with TNO. Um, t tell us what TNO does briefly. Uh, TNO is a research institute from the Netherlands where we are uh, bridging uh, the gap between universities and, uh, and the industri industry. And uh, within my department we work on additive manufacturing. Uh, oh. We've already been working on that for over 20 years when it was still a uh, rapid prototyping. Right. Um, of so course, sure it's this. Yeah. Um, so this is actually a, a large uh, FDM printer from one of our partners. Right. A big rep. So they built these very large uh, uh, FDM printers with which you can print uh, large products. Right. Um, nice. So we st now started a, a partnership also to, to look at uh, SLS printing actually to, to okay. also bring that uh, to the market. So what, how did TNO help this company get to market with this product? What did you provide? Uh, actually they already brought this to the market themselves. Right. They are actually a quite new partner. Right. So this, they already did this uh, without us. Right. And now we're actually um, uh, looking at SLS. We have some concepts for uh, industrial uh, SLS. Okay. And uh, so we're doing that together uh, because they have a lot of partners in the market. Right. Uh, nice. Yeah. yeah, great. So yeah. what else have you got to show us on your booth? What are you at TNO um, So at TNO we uh, work on 3D printed structural electronics. Right. Uh, we do that both in, in, uh, in uh, selective laser sintering when you build from a polymer powder. So this is an example of, uh, of such a product. This is actually without the electronics. Is this printed in one part or it's assembled from one part? So you, you don't I need see. to assemble it. Right. And actually, uh, uh, so it can really uh, uh, also uh, drive actually the uh, the spring appears to not work at this moment but uh, you can nice. actually um, um, make oh, it yeah. uh, drive and you only need to remove the powder in between right so we also have a lot of uh, uh, experience in, in design for additive manufacturing right. and now actually we're also making the next step to uh, incorporate integrate electronics in that so right. you can see that also below here see some examples of uh, of the lamps and here a USB stick with, uh, of which the casing, the TNO logo, is, is printed. So the three left ones are printed from uh, stereolithography, which, which you can achieve the highest resolutions, and the right one is with selective laser sintering. Right, so you combining 3D printing with electronics in this case? Uh, so you cannot buy this yet, so we're, right. de we're developing this. Right. We have our own uh, open platforms to develop the multi-technology manufacturing. Right. And uh, in, that, uh, in that way we can co uh, incorporate different uh, technologies actually okay. to, to go to advanced manufacturing. Right. Awesome show here. Yeah. So here you see some more examples also of these USB sticks. So we're really aiming for uh, industrial uh, additive manufacturing, so not just uh, let's say like uh, home printing. Um, so this is just an example of uh, making many, uh, many uh, of these products. Um, most of the trays there are uh, printed through SLS. Uh, below here you see some other examples, like here a, a smart exoskeleton, in which you would integrate sensors to actually track your movement, hmm. which can communicate with your physician. Oh, right. Um, so with the tracks on there, um, and below that are some other examples of which you would want to use additive manufacturing. So here is a complex uh, spring shape, which actually inside it's, it's empty, so it's uh, therefore very lightweight, but it has a very uh, okay. uh, <laughs> good uh, accuracy of the, nice. the printing properties, of the spring properties. And how do you commercialize this? Or how does this end up being used in industry? What's the model for TNO to uh, actually get this out into industry and use? Uh, we have different types of models, so mm. we, uh, we do uh, shared research uh, right. where actually different companies can uh, co uh, cooperate uh, and contribute for the sort of the basis of the technology and then also dedicated bilateral uh, projects uh, and that can be with material companies, it can be with equipment companies and also with the end users. Right. Uh, so we are uh, uh, developing the equipment and, and the process, we have a department for developing the material and also those together. Uh, we can do very powerful uh, process development and then with the printed uh, electronics knowledge from the whole center we can all combine that in, uh, in structural electronics. Great. Thank you Dr. Germs. Yeah, thanks. You're welcome.